So a day to remember will kick off the nearly two-month Degenerates Tour with I Prevail and Beartooth the day after the three play Louder Than Life in Louisville on September 27th. Tickets on sale Friday. Also, New Year's Day will kick off a fall headlining tour on September the 19th in Fort Smith, Arkansas and wrap it up on October the 10th in Flint, Michigan. Tickets also on sale Friday. So Nikki Six has posted a tribute to Lizzie Gray, who played with him in the pre-Motley Crew group London. Six said Gray, who was born Stephen Perry, died Sunday after living for more than a decade with a rare brain disorder. He was 60. At the trial of former Lost Prophet singer Ian Watkins for illegal possession of a cell phone in a British jail, it came out that he had hidden the device in his anus. Watkins is currently serving 35 years for a number of child sex offenses. So Lamb of God have been added to Megadeth's Mega Cruise, which sets sail for Los Angeles on October the 13th. Tickets still available for that. And with ACDC celebrating the 40th anniversary of their Highway to Hell album, they have posted on Instagram the original cover art, which shows them in flames which, by the way, was rejected originally by Atlantic Records. And Corey Taylor says that Slipknot's new as yet unnamed percussionist has been a boost for their live shows. The person dubbed Tortilla Man by fans because of the mask he or she wears on stage replaced Chris Fenn, who's involved in a lawsuit with the band. Taylor was asked by Zane Lowe of Beats One what might make this mystery person an official member, and he replied, you've got to wear the tortilla on your face, first of all, and the audience has to figure out who you are. Tortilla Face, he's doing great. He's a great dude and is killing it. Man, it's kind of cool. It's brought this whole new energy at everybody as well. So it's a lot of fun to watch him. I kind of hope we never find out who it is. So guitarist Mike Mushak of Stain hopes that the handful of dates they'll play this fall leads to more. Mushak has been spending most of this year working on St. Asonia's second album, Flawed Design, with ex Three Days Grace singer Adam Gantier. That album, by the way, is due out in the late fall. I'm Tita Sasha. This is your Kill Pop Minute.